different ranks of angels and their duties. I think it's important that we remember uh, that Christians have a very important task in their lives. We only live once. It's important for us, though, to know what the purpose of our lives is and the great honor that we have been given by God and our Lord Jesus Christ to have the chance to learn and uh, the joy of giving our will to this beautiful reason for living. As we said in our previous video on the names and ranks and duties of angels, there were uh, one third of heaven, the heavenly bodies, one third of the total of the angelic forces had fallen away from God's providence and love. They had taken the part of the fallen angel, Lucifer. It is the place of Christians to replace these fallen angels. It is not for other angels to replace the fallen angels, but for Christians to replace the fallen angels. It is for this reason that our Holy Mother of God, the Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, was created. She was created so that the Son of God could be born from her pure body and that we would partake of his body and blood. Not to be washed in it, but to actually partake in it in the Holy Eucharist. Not to give thanks, but to take in the body and blood of Christ in our own body and soul. Um, let me also uh, I have some notes here, which is very important for me to <laughs> Uh, to touch upon the monastic order the asceticism and the vow taken by monastics the monks and the nuns is a very important and holy uh, step in their lives it's like another baptism or another mystery, it's another actual, it's a mystery, the, the mystery of being um, ordained as a monk or a nun is, is one of the mysteries of our Holy Orthodox Church, like the mystery of baptism and cremation, and the mystery of marriage, and the mystery of becoming a priest. So is it a mystery to become a monk or a nun. Uh, and they actually have what they wear, they wear something underneath their um, uh, over tunics. Uh, it's called a schema. It's a um, design uh, which has the cross and certain uh, words on it, uh, like uh, uh, Jesus Christ is the Savior above all and the um, victor above all. And uh, it's the monastics. The monastic is, is known as the angelic order, which will replace the 10th order of fallen angels, along with Christians, uh, proper Christians that are um, uh, doing God's will. I'd like to read one of the, um, it's a very, uh, perhaps to Christians, this may, this, this may be something new to most Christians, but let me just read something I found that perhaps will clear your mind. Someone had the question, um, as to, um, what Father Paisius the Elder said of the Holy Mount Athos in Greece. He said somewhere that God created man to fill the place of fallen angels. And, um, we have a writing 
explaining this uh, by St. Anselm of Canterbury. Um, he says that uh, the reason why the number of angels who fell must be made up from men. And St. Anselm was speaking to someone called Bozo. St. Anselm says, It was proper that God should design to make up for the number of angels that fell from human nature which he created without sin. Bozo said, this is, part of our, this is a part of our belief, but still I should like to have some reason for it. Anselm, you mistake me, for we intended to discuss only in the incarnation of the deity, and here you are bringing in other questions. Bozo, be not angry with me, for the Lord loveth a cheerful giver, and no one shows better how cheerfully he gives what he promises than he who gives more than he promises. Therefore, tell me freely what I ask. St. Anselm. There is no question that intelligent nature, which finds its happiness both now and forever in the contemplation of God, was foreseen by him in a certain reasonable and complete number, so that there would be an unfitness in its being either less or greater. For either God did not know in what number it was best to create rational beings, which is false, or if he did know, then he appointed such a number as he perceived was most fitting. Wherefore, either the angels who fell were made so as to be within that number, or since they were out of that number, they could not continue to exist, and so fell of necessity. But this is an absurd idea. Bozo. The truth which you set forth is plain. Saint Anselm. Therefore, since they ought to be of that number, either their number should be, should of necessity be made up, or else rational nature, which was foreseen as perfect in number, will remain incomplete. But this cannot be. Bozo. Doubtless, then, the number must be restored, St. Anselm. But this restoration can only be made from human beings, since there is no other source. Chapter 17 goes on to say, How other angels cannot take the place of those who fell. Bozo. Why could not they themselves be restored, or other angels substituted for them? St. Anselm, when you shall see the difficulty of our restoration, you will understand the impossibility of theirs. But other angels cannot be substituted for them on this account to pass over its apparent inconsistency with the completeness of the first action, because they ought to be such as the former angels would have been had they never sinned. But the first angels in that case would have persevered without ever witnessing the punishment of sin, which in respect to the others who were substituted for them after their fall was impossible. For two beings who stand firm in the truth are not equally deserving of praise, but if one has never seen the punishment of sin and the other forever witnesses its eternal reward. For it must not for a moment be supposed that good angels are upheld by the fall of the evil angels, but by their own virtue. For as they would have been condemned together, had the good sinned with the bad, so had the unholy stood firm by the holy, they would have been likened, likewise upheld. For if without the fall of a part, the rest could not be upheld, it would follow either that none could ever be upheld or else that it was necessary for someone to fall in order by his punishment to uphold the rest but neither of these suppositions but either of these suppositions is absurd therefore had all stood all would have been upheld in the same manner as those who stood but this manner as as, as i explained as well as i could when treating of the reason why God did not bestow perseverance upon the devil. Bozo, you have proved that the evil angels must be restored from the human race, 
and from this reasoning it appears that the number of men chosen will not be less than that of the fallen angels but show if you can whether it will be greater so here we have from the middle ages of england saint anselm explaining why only human beings can restore the order of fallen angels So here we have the explanation why only human beings can restore the league of foreign angel, the fallen angels, one third of the heavenly bodies, as explained in the uh, Old Testament of the Holy Bible. These are the monks and the nuns who have taken the holy vows, plus Christians who um, try to attain the love of Christ and to enter the kingdom of heaven this is what is to be our first goal in life ask first for the kingdom of heaven to obtain the kingdom of heaven and then everything else to be added to you of course it goes to say that it's not everyone who takes a vow and dresses in holy garments uh, that will uh, take the position of the fallen angels but those who actually in their hearts and in their deeds are perfect or attain to be perfect in the sight of God. Uh, this is one of my icons that I made over 20 years ago. This is the Holy Angel Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel, then at the Annunciation of um, our Holy Mother of God, Saint Mary, the Mother of God, Theotokos, and above we have our Holy Father. Yeah, this is a, I tried to make a copy of a, an icon that was burnt in Jerusalem um, after they had passed a law there that they would allow abortions that icon was burnt uh, I got a copy of it and I made my own little icon here I like it um, this um, the Annunciation to a human being a woman, the new Eve, who was um, perfect in the eyes of God to become the mother of God, Theotokos, was from the beginning in God's salvation plan, as evidenced in the writings of Genesis, that Eve, the woman, will crush the head of the serpent, the devil, and he would be um, forever her enemy, trying to bite the heel of her children, the Christians, that is. <laughs> That's why it's important to also pray to our Holy Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thee amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit of thy womb, Jesus Christ, the Savior, our Savior. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Χαίρε και χαρίτωμένη Παρθένη Μαρία, ο Κύριος με τα Σου, ευλογημένη Ισή εν γυναίξη, και ευλογημένος ο καπός της Κύριας Σου, Ιησούς Χριστός, ο Σωτήρας των ψυχών ημών, υπεραγία Θεωτό και πρέσβευε περιμών, that was in Greek. God bless you.